All right, so welcome to my second episode where I'm just trying different ways of turning images into black and white images. And last time I looked at raw therapy. This time I'm looking at um, the uh, Gimmick Archimic plugin to GIMP. So here it is. It has all kinds of interesting features. We're interested in black and white. All right. So we have all these crazy different ways of doing stuff, but I'm going to go straight for regular black and white. And let's see, zoom in, zoom out, reset zoom. Okay. So here we go. Here is the black and white that's going to produce right now, at least a preview of what it's going to look like. And this is the color image that's coming from okay so we have red green and blue just like the filters I had before uh, we have let's see full screen okay um, we have gamma contrast brightness hue saturation grain contrasts the type of grain that we have um, so and a full preview what would be nice would be if I could expand my preview window Although I wonder if I if I go like this and let's see zoom in zoom out reset zoom okay ah preview mode hmm. I was trying to see if that would uh, if that would allow this to be the bigger one but that's okay all right so let's see I ended up liking a red filter better. So, let me see here. What is this doing to my reds? This is actually, yeah, okay. So that's uh, basically doing a red filter, kind of. All right, so that's good. Let's see what the smoothness does here. Ooh, interesting. That could make a pretty hazy and weird photo. All right, so that's about where that was and the other one. Let's take a look at the contrast here. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see, brightness is at zero right now. So that's working that way. Alright. Interesting. Alright, I think this is fine at zero. Uh, Alright, contrast. Just increase a bit more. And move back a little bit. Alright, maybe I should zoom in. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, hue and saturation. What do that? Does that mean in black and white? I'm kind of just pushing these back and forth to kind of see what they do. Whoa, interesting. So this is kind of that would be equivalent to before when I showed you the uh, if you did the film simulation uh, in raw therapy and you pulled it. Uh, pulled it back a little you can kind of end up with something where you're not quite and I think this is happening because I've read all the way but uh, it's pretty you can end up with some pretty interesting effects here almost like a sepia type thing going on okay so here's something that I didn't have direct control of in raw therapy or if I did I don't know how to control it probably something to do with setting like negative noise reduction or something. So I want to take a look at the grain. So right now, this is a grainless image, which for some people is a good black and white. Um, let's take a look and see. Let me try midtones. So that looks like complete garbage. That's probably pleasing. And that's where we started with. Highlights, again, that's complete garbage. And shadows. That's just horrible. All right. So, mm, although what I liked about the other one was that there was some grain. Let me see. Oh, and there's a grain scale. All right. So let me just exaggerate this for a minute. Bring this up to where I can see it, so I can see what the scale does. Whoa. That is just bananas. 
All right, let me see if I change it to uniform. Salt and pepper. Poisson. That is weird. All right, so Gaussian is the way to go. All right, so let me bring this back. All right, so we've got this clear image. I think. I think I might just leave it. Uh, maybe I'll just bring just a little bit, just for that little tiny bit of film look, but not too much because a little goes a long way with this. All right. All right. And let's take a look at this local contrast thing. What is that? Whoa. So this is F. Still garbage. Still garbage. Still garbage. Fine. Garbage. Okay. So don't want to play with that. What's this dithering thing? Nothing that I can tell. So I'm going to leave it where it was. Was it at one? I don't remember where it was. Let's just leave it at zero. Use maximum tones. Didn't see that do anything. All right, so let's apply it. Here it goes on the bottom. You see it's doing something. It's a pretty big image, so um, I think you definitely want to watch out with those sliders. Oh, okay, so it's applied. Oh, I see. So that's one way to test it out while you're still working. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Let's zoom in to 100%. Let me change to this tool. Make sure, am I actually moving stuff? I don't want to be doing moving stuff. All right, that's pretty darn pleasing, actually. Interesting. Well, let's save it off. Uh, uh oh revert that ah oh, crap on a stick all right uh save as so i thought it was going to force me to save it in um in gimp's uh oh maybe it did from the beginning did it shoot i wasn't paying attention to my other screen when i hit save Oh, perfect. Okay, good. I wasn't actually saving over it. It's just that it opened the save window over here. All right. So I will. All right. So let me save. Let me do a export as. Color fix GIMP, but not ping, but a JPEG. Export. Perfect quality. Show preview. Take a look at the advanced. I shouldn't have hit that button. There we go. All right. Uh, save thumbnail. All right. So I think we're good. Let's export. All right. So now when I come over here to Digicam, um, Let's add this to the light table. All right, so here's here's the GIMP one. I'll put it on the left. Here's the one I liked from Raw Therapy. Here's the GIMP. Let's see, that's a 91% to zoom. Hmm. Alright, so this is the one I had liked before. Um, this is the one that uh, came from Agfa. Alright, so let's zoom all the way out, uh, zoom out again. So, so far, I like the GIMP better than Agfa. And potentially potentially actually like it better than what I did in raw therapy um, potentially 
it's hard to know 100% for sure. Um, but it does, it did create a pretty good result. Like, so the, really the, the only, the only thing that I would prefer about raw therapy versus gamic or gamike is that it's an interface that's more intuitive to me. I understand what I'm doing a little easier, but this is not bad at all. I mean, it's, it's very good results. And again, um, whether or not you like it is going to depend a lot on your taste. And of course, this is not the perfect image, uh, for black and white, but, uh, it's, I like it. It, 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 it kind of strikes a nice balance where see our, our darks are really dark, but here they're kind of muddy and here, um, I don't know. There's, there's something slightly more pleasing about this one than the one I created in raw therapy, not insanely more. Um, and, uh, I might end up actually having to do another series in which I, I try this with another photo just to see, um, with a different subject and a different bit of contrast, which one I like more, but that's kind of interesting. So the next video in this series, I'm going to take a look at using the Nick collection that Google just released for free. Use that thing to turn black and white and we'll see um, what I prefer. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.